Yo, what is going on Game House? I am Germ here. Today we're going to be trying a little something different on the channel. Rather than me breaking down some off-meta pick or telling you how some, you know, challenger player, professional player is doing it, I'm going to be putting myself to the test. I'm going to be trying out the off-meta pick myself. It's something I've been wanting to try on the channel. Uh, and today we are playing Fizz in the jungle. This is obviously not ideal that we are not getting a leash from our top laner right off the bat. Um, but I did put out a poll recently saying, you know, did you guys want to see me try to play some of these picks, me try to pull some of this off? I think this could be um, really good and interesting because it shows you, you know, maybe how this stuff can work, how some of these picks can actually be pulled off in game, or maybe I'm going to absolutely suck and you guys are going to be able to make fun of me as well. Um, I don't think we're going to die to the blue buff here, but it's definitely going to be close. Like I said, this would have definitely been ideal with a leash, but we do survive. Uh, so Fizz Jungle is actually a very, very interesting champion to me. I had been a Fizz is one trick for quite a long time it's probably the champion that i've reached you know the highest rank on overall definitely the champion that i have the highest mastery on the highest games um and every once in a while when i was auto filled to jungle i would pull this out in ranked and i actually have a pretty good win rate with it i think it is actually a little bit sleeper op um if you get a leash and you actually you know have some more health you actually can pull off a lot more things but obviously as the fizz jungle you do not scale super super well so you want to create as much chaos you want to create as much havoc uh and you want to try to get plays done in the early game which is exactly what we're going to do here we're going to try and get onto the echo i'm not quite sure it seems like he may have seen me i wish i had e um but also we have this guy's red buff uh you know ward and stuff too i see that this guy's here if i could get onto him that'd be wonderful too i did take the ignite so i could look to you know make an early play and maybe he's just gonna let us kill him but maybe not. Maybe I'm just going to go down too. All right. So we did die right off the bat. This is definitely not how we would have uh, liked this to start out. And I definitely think if I just could have got the leash, it would have went a lot better. Um, but, you know, we're still in business. We're still okay. So I'm definitely going to pick up the red trinket on my first back. Um, I, I don't know why the Swain did not leash for me, but obviously as a jungle and especially an off meta jungler who doesn't have a super good clear, you're not going to love that. So I got a little bit greedy. Um, if I had flash, I, I think I would have just been able to kill the Karthus, but I also got greedy with the ignite too. I think the ignite actually is pretty good on fizz, um, because obviously on fizz, you are not going to, uh, need flash all that often. Cause you're going to have your E, uh, I could have taken my E at level two and generally it's what you'd like to do as fizz, but I, I thought I was going to use my, my Q as like my gap closer, maybe my, my way of doing more damage, but obviously your E is going to help you do the AOE camps and stuff like that. Um, but I also knew I wasn't going to be doing one of my AOE camps, but like I said, I think Fizz is actually, obviously his clear is really, really terrible, but uh, I have definitely been able to play games as Fizz. I've definitely been able to win games in ranked as Fizz. I think your dueling is really, really good. You can show up at the crab at level three with your ignite. You can kill the other jungler. You can definitely go into their jungle, find them and kill them a lot. Uh, and once you hit six, your ganks can be pretty annoying too. Not even your ganks, just like your pick potential um, of finding the enemy jungler. I'm definitely not saying that Fizz uh, in the jungle is better than fizz mid or anything like that but i do think it's playable um and i think it can be fun sometimes eh? so we're just gonna be pulling this out we're gonna see how this game goes i also like that the other team um has some good targets for me uh, i definitely want to like try and start out each camp with my my aoe i'm gonna try and just kill the smaller ones i have uh my smite for the big wolf here but i'm I think I want to try and keep my smite for the Gromp too, because I really just don't think I'm going to be able to get the Gromp without it. Um, you also want to definitely have the, the blue buff as fizz as much as you can, because that's really going to help out with your mana issues and everything. Um, but this team, when I'm looking at this, like Teemo, he's going to be a really, really good target for me to kill. Uh, definitely super easy. Um, their bot lane is going to be really, really nice for me, especially once I hit six. Um, and since we fell behind in the early game a little bit, obviously it's going to be a little bit harder to climb back. It's going to be a little bit more annoying. Um, but that, that Karthus was just looking a little bit too juicy. You know, I just couldn't pass that one up. Um, but yeah, so I want to try, you know, making videos of all these different picks. I want to try champions I do play, champions I don't play, seeing how I can do on them. Uh, and it actually sucks because Karthus is not a great matchup for Fizz. Um, I think I'm going to kill him. Let's say I'm pretty sure I have my passive on him. So uh, just as like as a champion in mid lane, Karthus definitely counters Fizz because even when you kill him, he can usually trade back and then he's still going to be able to farm and stuff like that. He's obviously going to mega outscale you. Um, so it is a little bit annoying that I am against the Karthus, especially since he's not like a meta jungler or anything like that. Um, but it is okay. We did get a kill. You know, we are getting some gold going. And, and that's all I really care about right now. If I can get some gold, if I can get an item or two, I know, like I said, they have a lot of targets I'm going to be able to one shot. Um, and I'm going to be annoying. And again, if I, you know, I found Karthus at that crab, I can kill him. If he wants to come to this next crab, I have my ignite. He can die. If Teemo wants to overextend like that, we're definitely going to be able to kill him. Uh, the bot lane's pretty healthy, so that's going to be a little bit annoying, but, 
um you know we can see if they have any wards or anything like this and this crab's up too so i'm definitely you know gonna snatch that obviously fizz isn't super good at crabs or is pretty terrible at crabs so um you know if you can have your smite up that's definitely gonna help a lot karthus is pretty low here if i can get you know even just a, a pink ward down here that's gonna be super nice i'm gonna maybe look to go bot lane here mid maybe but echo is gonna be annoying for me especially um, now that he's six and stuff, that's not going to be ideal. Their bot lane is kind of overextending. This might might be able to get something here. I got my ignite down onto them. So obviously, it's going to cut the healing and stuff. And there we go. That's what I'm saying. You can make a ton of plays, especially when people get caught out. You know, you're going to have the damage. Fizz is going to be um, strong enough in the early game and strong enough in these skirmishes to, to actually kill people and stuff like that. I wish I had my sweeper, but I also just hope my, my mid laner comes to this Karthus. Because I don't know where this Karthus went. He obviously sees me here. He's on that pink ward. I don't think I'm going to be able to kill him, but if my bot lane comes here, we can definitely push him off this blue. And obviously, Karthus without blue is not going to be able to do much. And this is what I'm talking about. You can just, as Fizz, you can constantly just be putting pressure on the enemy jungler. You can constantly be being annoying. You know, we get the exhaust out of Karthus there. We get him out of his jungle. I don't know that I'm going to be able to steal his blue buff here. Um, if my team helped me, maybe, just because I do camps really, really slowly. If I was six, I could maybe look for a kill or something. Um, but I, I might even just like loop back around. Now I know he has this warded, so I have to be a little bit careful. Can't really look for anything onto Echo, but I, I definitely want to stop Karthus from being able to clear his camps. Because if he can't clear his camps, um, you know, then he's not gonna be scaling, he's not gonna be leveling up. And there I get the blue steel, which is so big. That's actually huge. And then I'm able to kill him. I think my passive is going to kill him. Okay, yes, we get the takedown. And that is so nice too. If you're able to kill Karthus with like a fade away like that, uh, and then he can't actually use his passive to kill you, that is so huge. The fact that we get the blue buff there, obviously we killed him. So we, he wasn't going to end up with the blue buff anyway. Um, maybe we can go mid and, and leech some of this. I'm, 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 I'm almost sick. So if I can leech a minion here, hit six right into this, that's clean. Ugh. I'm, you know, I'm just too scared. I don't want to die. Maybe that was a little bit too ambitious. Ezreal ult. Ooh, we get him super, super low, actually. I'm just going to tax this whole wave. Obviously, this isn't necessarily recommended, but hey, I'm Fizz. I'm not really trying to clear a bunch of camps. I'm going to steal that. Um, hey, whatever, Ezreal. I'm sorry, but hey, we steal that. And we have an Ezreal mid, too. We actually have a spicy team comp. Uh, I have the blue buff, but I'm going to recall here and then go into a full topside clear. Uh, me picking up the lost chapter is really, really big. I want to make sure I have pink wards and stuff so I can always be denying vision. Um, and that's going to help me be extra annoying for the card. This. And now, even though we started out 0-1, we have fought back and we are back in this game. We are 2-2-1 two, two and one at this point, And I believe up CS on Karthus. Um, I want to clear the wolves first. I, I would have loved if I could get that onto all the wolves. But I want to clear these because if I can look for a gank onto the Teemo, that would be awesome. But I, I does look like Teemo just warded the river. So I don't know if we're going to be able to get anything onto him. But we might be able to. And there is a crab up here for me to take too. I'm going to wait to take the blue buff because obviously I still have my blue buff. So I don't want to you know, overlap the buffs too much. If I can get the full duration of, of both the blue buffs, that'd be awesome. Um, keeping an eye on Teemo. I don't have my alt yet. Uh, you know, if I can wait 13 more seconds, Teemo might be gone by then, but if I can wait the 13 more seconds, um, that would really be ideal. I can start walking up that way. Like I said, I believe this is warded, but if I can just blast plant in, we can maybe get the kill. Okay. Swain is able to take him down on his own. So that's, I mean, that's good and bad. I'm going to, there's only three minions there. I'm not going to sack that. I'm just going to take the blue buff because my blue buff wore out now. That kind of sucked that we wasted some time. I mean, it, it sucks that Swain goes for the kill there. Um, cause it's actually pretty dumb because if he just waits, uh, then we're able to pick up the kill on the Teemo for free and he doesn't have to die. Um, but you know, it is what it is. You can't, uh, mind control your teammates. One thing that definitely sucks about Fizz is he's obviously not going to be great at objective control. I saw they have this thing here, so I'm, it's not like I can do the Herald or anything like that. Um, and I can't, uh, you know, just like start up the dragon without my bot lane super stomping either. Um... We have two lanes down like 20 CS. That's obviously not great. I have smite for this. Once I finish my uh, Luden's Echo, the AOE camps are definitely going to get a little bit easier. Um, but either way, you still have your burn and like you have your burn from the jungle item, which is going to help with some of those AOE camps too. Um, keeping an eye on mid. If Echo ever doesn't have alt, that's where I'll, I'll look to get spicy. But Echo with his alt is just always going to be so annoying for me want to you know be able to path up there if i want to red doesn't really do a whole lot for me yeah I, you know I'm, I'm like auto attack base and it's gonna help me a little bit but karth is in his bot side now so i know that so i would like to be healthy enough 
I have my ult, I have my ignite. And if I find Karthus on a camp right now, I know I can kill him, especially with my Sork boots. So I want, of course I go right onto a ward. I see that this shit's going down mid, but I can't really help him. He's like 3v1. Maybe we can look for a dive on the Zyra. This would be nice to pick up a, a cheeky little kill. I'm pretty sure Karthus sees me right here though. I'm on to him. My bot lane's coming up. I'm just gonna throw my ult. He should die, he should be dead. That's the other thing too. Every time I'm killing the Karthus, I wanna make sure I'm getting away from him because I don't just want him to be able to trade back uh, in his passive because that's gonna be super, super bad for me. Um, if I can pick up this crab, that'd be nice. I hope Echo isn't in this bush. Um, I'm going to drop my pink here, actually. This would be a nice spot for me. Uh, I am going to have Smite when this dragon comes up. I want to finish this crab. I'm going to let my AD carry just do the dragon. Maybe this is not ideal. But I also have the double buff right now, too, which is super, super nice. And if we pick up this drag, that's honestly so good. If we can start stacking up these drags, we're going to be in a really good spot. And my damage is going to be crazy. You guys are going to see my damage will be very, very good once we... Uh, once we get the Ludens, we're really going to be one-shotting people. I want to try and keep my eye on where Karthus is, too. I don't think I have the damage to kill him. That was probably really greedy for me to E. You want to be careful. Obviously, that was not good. You don't want to use your escape ability to go in, especially when you're on an invade or something like this. Um, so, you know, my E is going to be my escape. So, I have to be careful about using it to go onto the Karthus. I know he's on the wolves now. I have to keep an eye out about not getting collapsed on by, you know, bot lane. Oh, he missed... He missed his smite onto the wolf, and I missed time my Q. Obviously, I didn't think that I was going to be stealing the wolf with my Q. I wasn't sure if he had smite or not. Ooh. That sucks because my Q followed me onto him. I have ult now. I can maybe look for maybe look for some cheek. I can still go in on him. We had enough damage, and we get, we get our triumph proc, too. Um, that was something that I haven't talked about in this yet that I meant to talk about. I have Electrocute with Cheap Shot, uh, Eyeball Collector, and then I'm taking uh, Relentless Hunter. I think you could take Treasure Hunter too, um, but I think Relentless Hunter is good on jungle. Obviously, you know, movement speed is really, really valuable as a jungler when you're trying to get across a map and everything like that. Um, so I, I like taking Relentless Hunter when I'm on jungle, and then I have Triumph and Coup de Gras as well. Obviously, is i'm trying to be an assassin i think coup de gras is always going to be really really good i'm going to be looking for those overextended low people those people below 40 percent health that's most of the people i'm going to be fighting uh and then the triumph is just super super good for plays like that especially in this um where you know i'm going to have the karthus following up after i kill him a lot and stuff me getting the extra health i think is really really big this game you can definitely take stuff like legend tenacity um I think it's fine sometimes. Presence of mind can be fine sometimes too. I think you could maybe take ultimate hunter on Fizz and it wouldn't be terrible. I think treasure hunter's okay. Um, I don't know. Maybe you could take... I don't really think you can take sorcery secondary, but maybe you could take sorcery secondary. Maybe, uh, you know, like scorch, especially the, the buff scorch. Maybe that would be good sometimes. Um, but, but overall, I think this is good. I think uh, Electrocute's going to be really, really good. I, I like this rune page. And like I said, Flash is okay on Fizz 2. Um, you definitely can go Flash, but I, I really, really like the Ignite. And I like the idea of the Ignite, since I'm trying to get aggressive anyway. We're, we're mega outscaled by their team, at least, you know, my champion. I'm outscaled by Kai'Sa. I'm outscaled by Teemo. I'm outscaled by Karthus. I'm trying to end this game fast, and Ignite is going to help me do that. Okay, Teemo's overextending. He saw me kill his Shroom. But he still wanted to push. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till he doesn't have an opportunity to dodge in any direction. You know, I waited till he got to this point where his only dodge is gonna be backwards. He couldn't like dodge up the river, and that's when I'm gonna throw my shark. Uh, and then we are gonna go into another crab. Obviously, maybe we can even get a cheesy bot gank out of this too. I don't know if this is warded, but it doesn't appear to be. Yeah, I don't think that was warded, but I'm okay. I still have my E. Um, I, I want to be careful of when I use my E, but I'm, I'm so far ahead now. You know, I'm five and two. I can do so much damage. I just have to be careful because I don't have, uh, I don't have my ult. That's going to be like my main killing, com my main lethal combo at this point, obviously. I want to see, okay, so he's, he's right around here. I have ignite now. So if he walks up, he's dead. Can Ezreal kill him? And now am I dead? Like I said, the Triumph is super, super good. They're TPing onto me. I think I'm gonna live though. Oh no. No, that's not what I wanted. I get E in half a second. Oh! That's so <laughs> that was so clean. That was so clean. I think my stuff's getting kind of fucking slideshowy too. Sorry for dropping frames. I'm gonna 
try and exit out of some stuff on my computer right now. I have a ton of shit open. Google Chrome just eats up my computer. Okay, sorry if we lagged a little bit there. Google Chrome eats up my computer, so we need to uh, we need to get that closed out. I don't want to. I don't want to buy this. You don't want to be buying too many control words, spending too much gold. But that was so nasty. It, using the E to dodge the proto bell and just knowing how annoying Fizz is that I'm gonna get in, I'm gonna kill you, I'm gonna be able to get out is so so funny. I want to go back up to the top side here. Um, that wasn't the most efficient pathing in the world, but I want to go back up to the top side here. Anytime blue buffs up, I definitely want to be grabbing that. Um, obviously now that I have the lost chapter item in my Luden's Echo, it's not going to be as important, um, but it's still going to be nice. And I, I'm doing this kind of wrong, so I'm going to desync my timers on my, uh, I don't think the E dodges, okay, the E does dodge a card that's all. I thought I would still get hit by it. I thought I was just, uh, untargetable or whatever. Um, but yeah, kind of funny. I fucked up my timers on my buff a little bit here, but we'll get it back. I don't really care too much. This is a close game, though. I mean, I'm 5-2. and two, I'm huge. But it is 13-10. to 10, So we're going to see if this Fizz jungle has any uh, has any carry potential. But I definitely am curious to hear what you guys think of the... the I think I think the, the FPS is looking a lot better now since... Uh, FPS is looking a lot better now since I closed out the Chrome. But yeah, I am curious to hear what you guys think about this, doing the full gameplay commentaries over, you know, doing like the short breakdowns or me breaking down other people's games. Or, you know, we can do the full gameplays of other people's games. We can do the full gameplays of my games. Um, I am going for the Lich Bane second item here. Lich Bane is just super, super good on Fizz. Um, obviously, you have the low cooldowns and stuff, so you can get the Sheen proc very, very often. Um... And you're going to be able to use that, obviously, with, like, your empowered auto attacks and stuff. But it's also going to help you take towers. Um, oh, it's just overall a really, really good item. You can go Zanya's and second. Uh, you can go Zanya's second and stuff like that. If you're really, really fed, you can go, like, a, a, getting a Rabadon second or third is always going to be really, really good, too. But um, I, I think Sheen in, into Lich Bane is just overall a really, usually a very, very strong second item choice. And it usually has really high win rates on Fizz, too. We can look to set up maybe a dive here. Um, diving bot is always going to be really, really good. In most games, it's going to be easy. You're obviously going to have squishy champions, killable champions. Um, don't want to try and force anything too much. Uh, my bot lane isn't really helping push the wave there. I could maybe harass her under tower a little bit and, uh, you know, stop her recall and stuff. But I'll just let them crash that tower, crash the wave in the tower. Maybe they can even take the tower there. I'm just going to push this in. Obviously, any any like lane CS I can get is going to be nice because it's going to be way easier for me to kill lane minions than it is for me to kill... Way easier for me to kill lane minions than it is going to be for me to kill jungle camps and stuff at this point. I'm actually a level up on Echo, so he's not in a great spot. I want to get this pink ward down here. Okay, so that's worded. I wanted to see if I could maybe go around and kill Echo or if it was worth sitting there or not. But he doesn't have ult, so you know that's going to be big for me. And definitely sweeping, keeping my options open in their jungle is going to be really, really big. And now that we're so far ahead, now I can work on, you know, taking this guy's jungle camps and stuff too. Rather than just farming my own camps. I'm going to try and get deep vision. I'm going to try and get into his jungle. Again, I, this is not great. I don't want to use my E like that. But I knew I had my Q if I needed to get out. So I wasn't too worried about using my E aggressively there. And I think we can kill this guy. I'm glad that he used the exhaust on Ezreal because I mean I was gonna be able to get the kill. Also, there's no way I'm gonna die to this ult. Like he's he's not gonna do enough damage. Actually, did more than I thought it was going to. And Kais is around here somewhere, but I should be able to get away from her. You know, I I just know I always have my E. I'm trying to dodge the W and stuff. Yeah, I knew the W was coming in. I wasn't worried about that. I should have enough health to to even get this camp too because I know I'm gonna be able to E. This is maybe greedy because their their team is right here. Swain scoops it up for me though, so I'm just gonna go take the mid wave. But we are doing a good amount of damage. We are six and two now as well. And like I haven't done anything crazy. I, you know, I've, I've done bad. I've done like some, you know, some inefficient pathing and everything like that. But I'm up 30 CS on the Karthus. We're in a good spot. We're six and two. I'm gonna finish off the Lich Bane. I'm gonna buy another Pink Ward. Also, this is something I didn't do, but you could, I, could, you know, if I would have done this earlier in the game, um, getting a, a Dark Seal. Like, dude, if I could have stacked up my Dark Seal by now, that would have been so good. I'm gonna go bot here. I could go top and just grab my camps and, and grab the scuttle crab. That'd probably be better pathing, but I want to try and look for some kills. I'm fed enough that we can get a little spicy at this point. But also, my team is not doing a good job of clearing out vision. Like, if my team... Say my Swain leashed me, actually, level 1, 
and say my team was actually like dropping down vision and shit for me this game would be so much easier but i'm still just gonna be you know on this karthus as much as i can because even though i've been able to put him behind so much this game he's still scaling you know like he's still going to be annoying for me he's still gonna be a monster and we can see he still does a ton of damage to me just from finishing uh you know like his leandries and stuff and he's around here somewhere i just don't know exactly where there he is he's full health but but we can we can kill him we just have to be careful because his his uh his leandries is going to do a lot all right we get to kill on him but yeah he's gonna be able to trade it back and like if he has alt he might even be pretty close to killing Zaya there too, which is like pretty gross, but if Kaisa wants to stay here, we can also look to kill her. I still have ult. I mean, she's just dead. My plan was to Q onto her and then E out, but then she went under the tower, so that wasn't possible anymore. I was about to say, I'm pretty sure I can kill that guy. Okay, so that guy just exploded, dude. Our QW did so much, uh, and then we have our passive bleed and stuff. I'm not sure why he flashed. I'm not sure why he didn't ult, but um, yeah, I mean, once you get fed as an assassin, obviously Echo becomes a little bit less of a problem. Like, yeah, he always has the opportunity to ult, which can be really, really annoying for the assassins. But uh, also if you just kill him uh, before he can even ult, or, you know, especially if you're against a bad player, then they just are gonna kind of explode. And that's gonna be super, super nice. I'm glad we got to see, you know, a little bit of the, the one shot action. Karthus is coming back. You know, it's like, how many times do I got to teach him? Quit coming into your jungle. I'm, I'm three levels up now. Hey, we are Fizz jungle against Karthus. We are three levels up. I mean, this this obviously should not be happening. Karthus maybe isn't the best jungler in the world right now. He's not super, super standard, but he's at least a, a normal jungler. He's at least playable. And we're Fizz. I'm showing you guys this is possible. And this is even if you get put down in the early game. Like, again, imagine if I had a good early game. Imagine if I just got a leash and didn't die level two. But yeah, we never do scuttle crab good. Like obviously this is a fine scuttle crab, but uh, I also want to keep up my smite to maybe be able to get to this drag, but I don't think we're really gonna be able to contest it. Maybe. I'm gonna push out mid here um, just to get the wave pushing and stuff. The other team doesn't really seem too interested in the mid push. Maybe they'll just do the drag anyway, but I'm just going to be able to push out mid to create some pressure on the map, and then we should still be able to, to get to the dragon in time. I don't have my sweeper up, so I'm just going to keep walking through Mushroom Kingdom. But, hey, our Swain's pushing, our mid's pushing. We're in a fine spot. We don't need to, like, do this dragon right now or anything like that. The, the pressure is on the other team to get something done right now, for sure. If we can get a free pick, we'll take it. But, like, what, what is Kaiser doing? Kaiser just walking into our whole team? She's crazy. Ooh. I was about to go hard onto her, and I'm glad. Dude, if I had, like, flashed there, I probably would have flashed onto her. So I'm kind of glad. You know, sometimes sometimes not having flash will, will keep you out of trouble. I'm glad we can sweep out some of the team mushrooms and stuff. Clearing out all this vision will be really, really nice. The Zyra is so low. And, and Swain kills Karthus. That's huge. They don't even have their jungler here. I want to not take that damage. Just trying to stay healthy. I know this isn't warded, obviously. Okay, she's just dead. I wasted my ignite on her, and then Echo got hit by my ult. And then he does an ult again. He dies again. I'm on Teemo. Can anyone help me? Can anyone help me? I'm on this. She's dead. Ooh! Dude, that, that damage is disgusting. This is a 10 Dark Seal stacks. Teemo's, like, in this bush. Yep. Teemo's in this bush. He's in here. Yep. Hey, all right. We got the quadra kill. We get the quad. I'm 13 and 2 now on Fizz. We are, we're doing something. I, 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 you know, anyone who stuck around after the, after the death at level two, if you stuck around, it was hopefully for good measure. I, I, I wanted to show you guys that this could work. And this is just so, so fun. And like, this is what happens most of my Fizz games. And it's just, you know, when, when you're mid, you're like trying to get the solo kills and stuff. And if you get fed, of course, you can always do this stuff on Fizz. But like when you're jungle, you just get to cherry pick. Like whoever you think is going to be an easy kill, whoever you think is overextended, if it's the jungler, if it's whoever, you can just go mess with them. And it makes it so much easier. And then we get the 25 minute FF. There we go, boys. So I showed you guys Fizz Jungle. It is possible to pull off. It is possible to get a win. It is possible to do in your games. Uh, definitely drop a like if you guys did enjoy this video. Subscribe to stay up to date on all the Game House's latest content. If you guys try out Fizz Jungle, let me know how it goes. Um, I'm going to look at the post game stats real quick. We can see how much damage we did. I don't think I'm going to be able to show it up on the screen because I don't, I don't have it set up correctly or anything like that. But um, Maybe we can see if it'll load. I'm still in the loading screen. I'm still in the loading screen. Um, I think our final score was like 13 and 2, something like that. 
Um, we got the Star Guardian missions. We're getting through it. And we got an S+. Plus, and we did the second most damage in the game. Only the Karthus out damaged us. That's normal. He's DPS. We're an assassin. Whatever. All right. Hopefully I catch you guys in the next one. Peace.